डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑन जे आर एफ एस आर एफ नेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू कोर एन आर एफ वन लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व इन दिस लेक्चर वी कंटिन्यू द सॉइल साइंस एंड एग्रीकल्चरल केमिस्ट्री बिट्स दीज बिट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस क्लास आर एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल इन इन्यूमरेबल वेज टू जस्ट यू नो इन डिसाइडिंग यूर ग्रेड और यूर रैंकिंग एज वेल नाउ what is dris dris is a diagnosis and a recommendation integrated system cnc critical nutrient concentration cnr critical nutrient range ark ark potassium activity ratio pbc potential buffering capacity i told in the previous class as well nue nitrogen use efficiency spod okay super oxide dismutase bnf biological nitrogen fixation inm integrated nutrient management cpheri cpheri central public health engineering research institute it is located in nagpur some critical limits of uh, micro nutrients try to remember iron 4.5 copper 0.2 mn 2 zn that is zinc mn magnesium is 2 okay zn zinc 0.6 boron 0.5 molybdenum 0.1 but all of you please remember that for sulfur 10 ppm is a critical limit for your academic interest i read once again iron okay these are the critical limits for micro nutrients iron 4.5 copper 0.2 manganese 2 zinc 0.6 boron 0.5 molybdenum 0.1 and sulfur 10 ppm is a critical limit now indicator plants even though even though these are uh, most common bits uh, i told what is the use of uh, remembering these bits okay that's why i am repeating or you can say that i am emphasizing uh, indicator plants c a f e and n cauliflower and cabbage once again i repeat c a f e and n cauliflower and cabbage boron sunflower n a sugar beet m g and k potato p rape seed c u wheat once again i read for your academic interest indicator plant ca iron ca f e and n cauliflower and cabbage b sunflower n a sugar beet m g and k potato p rape seed c u wheat okay uh, so these are the things some scientists who are involved in developing certain technique zinc okay scientists for essentiality so they found the essentiality of the element zinc okay summer and lipan molybdenum arno and stout boron warrington iron gris g or i s gris manganese harge h a r g u e c a p k and m g okay uh, spen gel okay s p o r e n g e l now in this class we also try to understand something about the menus you see menus are or uh, added to the soil why because of uh, several advantages even if you apply inorganic fertilizers for their use efficiency for their retention in addition to first moisture retention we add uh, organic matter uh, and menus okay menus just some fundamentals of the menus i would like to share with you because uh, these are the basic things that would decide your ranking when tough questions are given somewhere somewhere and somewhere these are embedded these points are embedded quickly we try to understand a comprehensive information about menus now the word menu is originated from latin word m a n u okay now the french word menu e u v r e r m a n o e u v r e r which refers to work with soil as far as it is originated from 
okay it is originated from okay uh, the french okay now again uh, the word originated from latin side i would like to share with you manu why because in certain books uh, uh, french uh, uh, french base was taken in certain book the latin uh, word basis was taken that's why not to confuse you these two meanings i would like to share with you if it is given french word bano he you we are he are it refers to work with the soil manure from a latin side m a n u these are the things that i would like to share with you what is a fertilizer generally a fertilizer it is a mined or manufactured material containing one or more essential plant nutrients in potentially available forms in commercial valuable amounts in commercially valuable amounts so that is a fertilizer uh, an example for bulky organic manure is fym farm yard manure of course compost uh, say uh, green manures also comes under the bulky organic manure for example concentrated organic manures are divided into two plant origin and uh, animal origin and uh, as far as the uh, plant origin is concerned there are two types edible oil cakes and non edible oil cakes as far as edible oil cakes are concerned mustard cake groundnut cake sesame cake and linseed cake non edible oil cakes are castor cake neem cake sunflower cake mahua cake and currant cake etc 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 in animal origin the examples are bone meal blood meal horn meal and meat meal or tankage meat meal or tankage meat meal is also known as tankage that's what i would like to share with you now the physical composition of cattle manure is called okay the actually the uh, decomposition okay uh, physically decomposed material okay by the different techniques that's what i'm going to share with you after half minute from now so okay so farm yard manure okay it is called as the farm yard manure why because uh, it is a decomposition the physical physically when we see when it uh, decomposes material that what we call as a farm yard manure now further you please try to understand dung urine and litter are the constituents of fym a uh, hippuric acid present in the liquid portion of cattle of course liquid urine of cattle hippuric h i p p u r i c hippuric acid dry earth system popular and extensively adopted method for collection of uh, manures best method for storage of manure is uh, covered pit method heap method is most commonly adopted in indian villages uh, for shortage of manure the maximum losses of nutrients occur in the heap method and uh, which results in poor quality of manure it is because of uh, temperature high temperatures and uh, rainfall so when they are exposed oxidation occurs so that's why okay the maximum losses occurs in heap method maximum losses of nutrients occur because uh, okay manure directly exposed to vagaries of uh, sunshine okay which causes it which causes rapid oxidation of uh, organic matter and rainfall as well sunshine and rainfall these two play an important role in oxidation process nutrient losses uh, effectively controlled in covered pit method fym preparation is done by trench method fym preparation is done by trench method <clears throat> trench method for fym was given by c n acharya fym should be enriched by addition of uh, superphosphate chemical preservatives are added to fym to decrease nitrogen losses commonly used preservatives are gypsum and uh, superphosphate as i said one bit before gypsum also we can add super phosphate also we can add the word compost is derived from okay as i said the two ways of uh, expression are the first latin word see componere c o m p o n e r e okay put together put together the process of converting organic matter into manure in a short time accelerating 
fermentation process under controlled condition is called composting. Optimum CN ratio of uh, composting material is uh, 20 is to 1 to 30 is to 1. N, P and K content in compost is 0 0.3, 0 0.1 and 0.3 percentages. The process of uh, composting was first initiated in England. Different methods for composting, ADCO technique, agricultural development company and it is given by K. Huch. Uh, H U T C H I N S Y N okay Hutchinson and uh, Richards. Bangalore method is uh, complete anaerobic without oxygen, and indoor method is uh, completely aerobic. The foul smell from urban compost can be prevented by addition of uh, copper sulfate CuSO4. Night soil and mul uh, municipal rubbish or uh, okay, starter materials for urban composting. The product of night soil is called powdery tea, P O U D R E T T E. Rising earthworms in controlled condition is called vermiculture. Okay, the most common, mostly used earthworm for vermicomposting is uh, E I S E N I A I S E N I A. Foetida, F O E T I D A. pH suitable for uh, uh, vermicomposting is neutral, 6.5 to 7.5. Temperature for vermicomposting is uh, 18 to 35 degrees centigrade. 50 percent aeration and 60 to 70 percent moisture also are required. It is my own experience. I have worked for more than 10 years on uh, vermicomposting. These are the basic requirements. What are those? pH 6.5 to 7.5, temperature 18 to 35 degrees centigrade. In summer, it is impossible. In addition to these two, aeration should be 50% and 60 to 70% moisture we should maintain by covering uh, with uh, some gunny bags and uh, um, watering over the gunny bag. So, this is what that we uh, tried along with uh, my seniors at the between 1985 and 95. For 10 years, we worked on vermicomposting composting by taking, of course, uh, uh, E, I, S, E, N, I, A species only. E, e I, okay. Anyway, what we call that? A, C, N, A, Foetida. They are the um, earthworm for uh, vermicomposting. Verbi what we did. CO2 produced in aerobic decomposition and CH4 is produced in anaerobic uh, decomposition. The growth of a crop, okay. Uh, for the specific purpose of incorporating it into the soil, while in green is called green manuring. We we just sow the crop like pilipisara, that is, uh, okay, pilipisara, we call it a local language, green gram. So, at 50% flowering stage, we incorporate into the soil. Green manures are, uh, okay, this is what, uh, green manure crops are uh, usually, mostly they are legumes. Uh, at 50% uh, flowering stage only we should uh, decompose, we should, um, uh, we should uh, add into the soil, okay, at 50% flowering stage. Dainta is suitable for, to improve the drainage, minor pulse crop fodder and triple purpose green manure crop, okay. It is a pulse crop, it is a fodder crop, it is a green manure crop, that is pilipis crop. So green leaf manuring refers to turning into the soil green leaves. And uh, tender twigs uh, that are collected from shrubs or trees grown on buds is known as uh, green leaf manuring. Only two or three bits maximum I would like to share with you are uh, okay, uh, Glaricidia, Sesbania species, even Karinje, okay, that's what is Pomongia, uh, um, Pongavia, etc., are the examples for green leaf manuring. Keeping the okay, um, uh, animals okay in the fallow land after the harvest of the crop we call it as a penning uh, bone meal is a pea fertilizer okay uh, 1 to 2 percent n and 10 to 13 percent p is uh, available in bone meal uh, bone meal is uh, useful exclusively for uh, acid soils so these are the fundamental bits that I would like to share with you with reference to menu. 
a grain manure or grain leaf manuring or you can say composting so these are all the basic things uh, that i would like to share with you uh, thanking you very much for your very patient hearing